These days, as the voice of Canada speaks out in world affairs, more and more people are visiting the national capital. And when you come to Ottawa, of course you visit the Peace Tower. There are so many nice things to look at. And there are all the beautiful buildings as well, of course. Perhaps you're going to get your man, or at least take home a happy memory, watch the dicky bird. Thank you. And over the Peace Tower door, you can see the coats of arms of the provinces. Five on each side now that Newfoundland's come in. And through this door, you can visit the Parliament of Canada. But this fellow with the briefcase isn't a visitor. This is the man in the Peace Tower. He's come this afternoon to ring some bells. Not down here, where the statesmen and politicians go off to deliberate at a conference over lunch. No, the fellow we want starts the day's work by going, well, there he goes, first along the corridors that lead to the heart of the Peace Tower, where the Book of Honor keeps the names of those who died for Canada, the Memorial Chamber. This is a remembrance. Upon the walls are written the battles in which they fought, and the names of those that died are written in the book so that those who are left behind may know them. Here. Our man waits to go up still higher. Just mind the step, please. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, here, sir. The visitors have been up to see the clock but he goes all the way up to work. He's certainly got the highest job in Ottawa, and perhaps one of the most curious and interesting. This is the man's office in the sky. From the ground, you'd never even guess it was there, just below the windy belfry with a lovely view across the capital from the window. And here he gets ready for his work with the bells. Hello? No, I hadn't forgotten. As a matter of fact, I was just going to look up some folk songs. I was thinking... <laughs> The Peace Tower is the man in the Peace Tower. It, the man in the Peace Tower. When the a, visiting diplomat gets out of the car, I'll start to play just as soon as I receive your signal. Fine. Thanks very much. Goodbye. The man in the Peace Tower is the unknown musician of Ottawa. He plays for all the great events that the Peace Tower watches. He plays for all the famous people that come to Ottawa. But no one ever asks him to play at a party. This is his special music room, higher still, where he goes to play and where he hangs his knuckle dusters. Most musicians dress for a concert, but Robert Donnell undresses. He has a strenuous job in front of him. For Mr. Donnell is the man that plays the carillon, the famous set of 53 musical bells that is the voice of the Peace Tower. Trained in Belgium at the famous Mechlin School, he is one of the world's leading caroliners and president of the Caroliners Guild of North America. First, he checks the tension on the wires to the bells, for heat and cold affect them slightly. You move the handle, Pressing hard, and the handle moves the clapper. These handles move the wires, and the wires work the rods and cranks where the wind blows round the 53 bells. The smallest weighs 10 pounds. The largest weighs 11 tons. 
and every single clapper is moved by the strength of the caroliner without any sort of mechanical help. When he's ready for action, the Dominion caroliner puts on his finger guards to protect his fists from pounding on the keys and gets right in there and starts punching to send the music out across the city. Outside, it's easy, graceful, and effortless. But this is what's happening inside. For centuries, the sound of bells has rung in joys and sorrows. And still today, the Dominion Carolyn keeps Tennyson's words alive for Canada. Ring in the love of truth and right. Ring in the common love of good. Ring out all shapes of foul disease. Ring out the narrowing lust of gold. Ring out the thousand wars of old. Ring in the thousand years of peace. also speaks of hopes for the future. The voice of the Peace Tower the mingled chime of memory and hope. <laughs> 